Hey guys, uh, welcome back. It's part six. Yeah, I believe it's part six um, of X3 Albion Prelude, uh, the Star Wars Reborn mod. And uh, so last time I was showing you guys, let's see here, I think I was, I was around here, I was going up here on the last video. And so, as you see, since then, I laid the satellites and explored all these sectors. And so, I, I think I mentioned it also before about this being about the safest area of the galaxy. It's a good place to start uh, sector traders and universal traders. And I'm about to get into those because this is a big point big point in the evolution of the of our I guess empire for lack of better wording um, is the start of uh, universal traders so I've mentioned them a couple times but didn't really talk about them they uh, that's just like they sound though they, they are galactic tra uh, traders and they will automatically um, find deals and they will automatically uh, jump with a jump drive. They will automatically refuel with energy cells when they need them. They'll automatically buy drones and uh, release drones when they're being under attack and, and use the turrets and all that. Now you kind of have to a couple settings that you, you have to have right um, but basically uh, once they are off and going you don't have to worry about them. The only thing you have to worry about is of course them getting blown up attacked and blown up going and going in the wrong sectors that's um, when I was talking about don't find the bad sectors just so they don't go in the bad sectors um, that's the reason why, because just like I also mentioned, everything in this game, it takes effort, which it's kind of a double-edged sword. You know, obviously it takes more effort and time, but it's more satisfying when you do it and, and complete it. It's not, um, uh, you know, it is an accomplishment. It is something that you achieved, had to do something. Uh, so... Anyways, um, Universal Traders, once, once you can start making money without having to be involved, it's just kind of like real life, like, you know, your business or whatever. Um, you know, you want to get to the point, like, it's a big point in the evolution when you don't have to do anything and money's being generated. So, that's where the Universal Traders come in. Now... Um, the universal traders, they have to start off as sector traders. Um, this is actually a cool system. I really like it. Uh, but you, they just don't start off being top dogs. Um, there's levels. It's level one through 25 on all the traders. And levels one through eight, I believe it's eight, up up until eight, um, they can only trade within the same sector in one of these sectors. They can't leave. They, they're not smart enough um, to use the gates to travel to different sectors. Um, and but the more trades they do, the more deals they do. The more experience they'll get, and, and and they'll go up levels, and so, um, but once they hit eight, I believe is the soonest you can send them. I think you you can send them like a distance within like two sectors, so they they'll be smart enough to be able to travel two sectors away. Um, then. It's level 12. I'm pretty sure it's level 12 where they 
you can set them as a universal trader, an official universal trader, and then um, they're off. You just let them be, and they will continue to gain experience and, and improve. Like um, like I was saying, they'll, they'll buy drones, replenish their drones and stuff, and then know how to use them. Like that's level 16. Um, but as they gain up in levels, they actually will be able to take on more responsibility themselves which is actually cool so the idea like if you have a universal trader that is level 25 that's the max that is a very highly prized possession um because of the investment again you're not only buying the ship but it's the time investment of kind of um, helping these traders along in their early years until they, they, they can just go on their own and you don't have to worry about them like um you know it's it is a pretty cool system so anyways uh the reason why i started recording is because i got I, I got the area i was picturing when i talked about it before on the past video uh, i got that all set up with satellites and home of light home of light couple of videos ago or something like that I was talking about you can get jump drives well you can only get them in two places in the whole galaxy and one of them is Elysium of Light which is a Jedi uh, sector here and the second place is right here at Home of Light TerraCorp HQ that is um, TerraCorp headquarters has made a significant contribution to the Argon economy and has in recent years become a one-stop shop for entrepreneurs equipping ships for a variety of tasks. So, so this right here um, was, I think, probably the first, no, it was part two, I think, when I was in PN, or PTNI headquarters when I first started, and it was like NMMC Corporation had uh, one of those corporation stations. Well, this is another corporation that's in the game. And uh, their name is TerraCorp. And they have a jump drive. And what's nice about this stop, it's different than the Goner stop, is first of all, you're not in highly volatile space like you are over there. Um, but this place has what you need to start off sector traders and universal traders like they have the, the software you'll need this trade command software mk3 um and when i talked about the price of the jump drive and i said 500,000, i was thinking about this software obviously um the jump drives a hundred thousand um but with the software in order to have the ai do their own trading they need the trade command software mk3 they also need other software, but that's the big one that allows them to go on their own. Uh, they'll, they'll need the best buys locator. They'll need the best selling price locator. Uh, they don't need a bio scanner. I usually just give it to them, though, because it's not that expensive. Jump drive. They'll need a jump drive. I usually set them up first before they start. Well, I'll show you. Um, but anyways, the jump drive they need. There's a SETA. They probably already have a SETA. Um, I do do supply command software because it's not very expensive. And this allows you, if you ever want to have it, supply stations or anything like that, it, you'll need that. Um, trading system, you'll need that. Transporter device. Uh, I do it. It, it is 56000 Um I always put them on the ships, though, because... Let's say I get a transporter for the ship that I'm mainly in, okay? Um, well, the transporter only works one way. So I transport to a ship, and I'm in that new ship, but it does not have a transporter. I can't transport her back. Scotty, beam me up. Hey, surprise. So the ship that you're in, you can only transport from a sh 
whatever ship you're in has to have a transporter for you to transport. You can't use a transporter that's on a different ship. So I just go ahead and just put those on all the ships. Because um, I've done that, done that before. I had it on my own, trying to be cheap and save money. And then I ended up transporting into a freighter. And I wanted to go back. And I couldn't. So anyways, I just do it. Um, so anyways, TerraCorp, that, that is what I use for, like I said, my central place to start up, uh, sector traders. So I had my lat head there and it's there now. Good. So I'll go ahead and trade. Um, it's already got a best buys. It's got the best selling, uh, bio scanner. I just bio do it. Scanner. Uh, Jump drive, jump drive, need that, um, set it, it's got a set of supply command software, supply I do that, oh, no, no, God, no, God, please, no, 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 I don't have, I don't have enough reputation with the Alliance yet. Holy shit! Oh, fuck! God damn it! Fat! Mm. See, I usually start... Well, let me just make sure I got I get that. Um, I usually start either over here, which is Argon or Alliance territory, or I start like over here, which is Argon and Alliance territory. So when I start off trading, just to try to get things going, I'm usually already there building up reputation. So by this point, I'm usually already set on that. But I was trading in Mandalorian space, so I'm really high up to Mandalorians, by the way. If I go to their shipyard. I am high enough in their in their rankings. I'm a family friend now. So I can get that ARC 170 that I was talking about. Um, so I build up my rep with them. But I forgot I really haven't been trading in Argon space, so I'm gonna have to work on that. Okay. Well, this is isn't exactly the big point uh, in this evolution that I thought it was going to be, um, because without that MK3 software, I can't tell if to start trading on its own. Which means I'm going to have to manually tell it where the trade. Well, that kind of sucks. So, anyways, that's not the video. I, th you know, the outcome I thought it was going to be. Um, you done messed up, A.A. Ron. Yeah, that kind of sucks. So, well, I guess I have to find out trades. So, I'll just sh show that real quick, kind of like how I'm looking. How I try to find them in a new area. Uh, now I am a little bit more familiar with this area though. And I do know here it's three ore mines. Ore mines on, ore mines and what I'm doing is I'm looking at the stock. Because of course if they're fully stocked it's the lowest price possible. So, you, like you see on this one, it's not, and so it's at 148. This one, it is, and it's 50. So, that one's pretty close, too. So, if I can find a place buying ore, that would be decent. See, they're already full. Usually, the ones that are in the same system as, like, the mines are usually already taken care of because the AI takes care of those. 
but sometimes it, what you try to look for is one that's right next to it. That one's already got it, or will be bought by kind of like, obviously like manufacturing type complexes or factories, which is not here. That's all. Those, those are those are more what I consider resources, and that's what I was saying. You can start off with trading silicon and ore because the money, the pricing as far as just the dollar amounts are are good. Because you can make some money, good money on them, um, but they're still like a resource, so you have a lot more places you can sell them. But like solar, solar I mean, you're talking about 17 credits, I mean, and that's high. The highest it goes is 19, lowest it goes is 12. Um, so you're not really talking about a lot of money when you deal with the energy cells. Uh, so, let me see. This station, this factory creates an ammunition. This, this laser production. Cube fabs. <sighs> I was hoping to find a place right next to it. Well, maybe I won't trade that. Here is the food stuff, um, like the cattle ranch. Cattle ranch does Argnew beef, which Kahuna Bakery buys to make meat steak Kahunas. Kahuna bakeries are so sixty-four. Sixty-four, and that's not. There, there's still room for that price to get, go even lower. Let's see about the beef, though. Oh, it's fifty-three. Any of these happen to need beef? So you know, you, you, like I said, usually the ones that are in the same sector that need each other in some way, usually they're already taken care of really quick by the AI, but there's cat wrenches here too. Well, let's find a deal. At least find a deal, and then I'll end this video, and then build up reputation. This factory creates. I'm, it's it's about trying to find a hole in the supply and demand that you can fill. See energy cells. Energy cells. These can't make a whole lot of money, but again, I, I, like I mentioned before, sometimes you just need to do that to jumpstart the economy in that area. If it's kind of in a limbo state, not doing anything. See, all these need energy cells. Like I said, the range is between 12 and 19, so you're looking at 18, 19, 19, and right there is a solar power plant. Now, 16 is not very... It's not the best price. Ideally, I want it 12 or 13, but... But those are all in the same sector. I could buy those and just sell them right off really quick. So, so that's what I'm going to do. Tell the doc there. And I'm just going to make those runs. But So, I don't know if that 
helped showing what I was doing there. It's kind of like the thought process is what I was trying to get at. The thought process of just trying to find your own trades. Like, you really just have to look for it. I mean, again, like I said, this game doesn't hold your hand. Um, it's something I really do like about it. Uh, you really have to find, because opportunities are always there. And another thing, too, about this game is because there's different, it's kind of deep, and there's different levels. There's different ways to do things. Like, uh, well, for example, trading. You know, I had to start off, I only knew about this sector, and I had to send my my ships like I was sending them to the sectors so I could find out what the price was at that time at that sector. So every time I moved one of them, though, you didn't have the prices there. You uh, until I build up enough in trades to get the satellites, so I can start laying satellites. So I don't need to. So I can see more and don't have to and don't have to manually move ships. So like it's more about when you're growing, you actually evolve and it gets more automatic, which is really cool. It's you're doing the same thing. You're still training, trading, but it's you're putting your your there's less effort on your part that needs to be put into it, which is a really cool way the game mechanics work out. I think I think it's really, really cool um, because you really are building towards something. You know, it's not. It's not just another level, but it's like, it's like why do you want to be at that higher level? You know, there's got to be a a reason for it, and the reason is so you don't have to work for it, and that's just a cool way that it works out. That I don't know, I just that's one of the things I really love about this game. Um, so I you know grew, did the satellite thing, and I'm about to start. I'm on the verge. As soon as I get uh, trades done and get that rep app, um, buy the MK3 software, and then I want to send that lat out starting sec uh, sector trading. It will learn until I can make it be a universal trader and send that out. But while it's learning and doing those trades, I'm also gaining income without needing to be involved basically pretty much sometimes sometimes when they're learning when they're lower levels they'll get stuck and what they'll do is they'll they'll send you a message so you have to go to your message log and it will tell you something like it's stuck like it's it's usually when they buy a full cargo load of something and they go somewhere and they can't sell it for some reason like either another freighter got there quicker and Un, you know, undercut them like soul already, so there's no room to sell, or they bought too much, and so when they sell to fill up the station, they still have a whole bunch in their cargo hold, and they don't know where to buy from there because they don't have a whole lot of room in the hold. But so, like, it can get tied up. It's kind of cool because it's you know still lower level, so you might have to manually do something. Just to get it steered in the right direction, then it'll just keep learning and keep going again. Um, but the, but when it's in the level like in the twenties, like usually eighteen or more, I really don't worry about them anymore because um, they're usually able to defend themselves, get away, jump away, and do it smart. So yeah. Anyways, that's that. The, this is where I get excited about this game because. It, that is really cool the way the mechanics work out. So, anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Like I said, I'm going to get where I thought I already was. And then I'll start recording again. But uh, thanks, guys. Take care.